Hello and welcome to this video from Server Assist. In this video today we're going to be starting our series on the uh, recommended American players. These are all um, budget to mid price options okay for the American the, the American region. Um, okay the American region is due to start I believe in April for the MLS anyway. There's also the Mexican League as well and obviously the Argentinian League as well uh, which qualifies for this division. So we'll be looking at all the players um, the budget to mid price goalkeepers to start with this week. We'll follow it up next week with defenders followed by midfielders and then forwards. Okay, let's get stuck into this video. If you do like it, please like, share and subscribe. There is also the Asia region as well that we've covered for each position um, in the last four weeks videos. If you do want to check those out, please do. If you're not signed up to Surrey as well, there is a link in the description below if you did wish to do that. Okay, let's get stuck into it. So the first player we've gone for here is George Brown. Plays for Rosario Central in Argentina. Um, if you look at his scores, these are good scores for a goalkeeper. You're looking for uh, around this sort of score for a goalkeeper. That's what you can expect. You can't really expect Nantes or anything like that from goalkeepers because they don't really score anything like that. Okay, um, So a, a mid-range a mid range score of 50, something like that, around that mark, is considered a good score for goalkeepers, really, I would say. Okay, so... Let's have a look what cards we've got available. As you can see, this guy is capable of scoring some decent numbers as well. He's got 72 there. He's 34, but goalkeepers do can usually have a longer career than other positions. There's a couple in the secondary market. As we know, goalkeepers can be expensive anyway. Um, so even though these are mid to budget price goalkeepers, they, they will be obviously a bit pricier than some of the other positions. Um, but you're looking for the top notch goalkeepers you're probably looking at three to four hundred pounds something like that okay but with these ones we're not getting the high scoring numbers you are getting more value for money from these cards so if we look at some of the prices then nine days ago 148 19 days ago 100 16 117 15 days ago 100 so you're probably looking around the 100 to 150 pound mark but like I said, that is still half price on some of the more premium options out there. Um, so that is, is still a mid to budget price for this guy. Okay. Plus Rosario Central, like I said, and that's in the Argentinian League. Let's have a look at the next player then. So we've got David Bingham. He plays for LA, obviously in the MLS um, division. As you can see, he's got a couple of scores here, but he has got a 42. If you do check out his previous scores, he is capable of hitting the um, the good scores for a goalkeeper, though. Let's have a look at the cards that are available. A couple on secondary market there. That's quite a good price, 88. You probably put an offer in there and get it cheaper, maybe £70, something like that. Let's have a look at some of the more recent sales on the auctions. 17 days ago, £60. That's impressive. Three days ago, 62. So you're looking around 60 pound for this guy, for this guy which is absolutely brilliant. Um, he's only 30, maybe 31 now. Yeah, 31. But goalkeepers do tend to last longer as well in the careers. And this guy is likely to start as well for LA. So budget price there for a goalkeeper, especially in the current market, around the 60 pound mark. Next player we've got is Prussman Slaw Titon. Um, totally pronounced his first name wrong there. Um, he plays for Cincinnati. Um, again in the MLS. As you can see, he's had a few do not players here, but he is considered to be the first choice keeper um, for Cincinnati in the upcoming MLS season. Okay, so you can get him at a quite a cheap price. So a lot of people are not aware of that news. A couple on the um, secondary market here. Let's have a look at some of the more recent auction prices. Eight days ago, 81, 80, 60, 90. So you're looking around 60 to 80 pound, I would say there for this guy, uh, which is a fantastic price for a quality goalkeeper. 
If you do look at some of his previous scores when he was playing, he has he did have some. Um, he can get some good scores for a goalkeeper, so there's definitely one to watch out for. Get him on your following list, and is another budget option there for your American lineups. Next player we've gone for is Bobby Shuttleworth. He plays for Chicago again in the MLS. He's 33, as you can see, his scores are around the 49 49 range, which is good, like I say, for a goalkeeper. It's a steady return on the goalkeeper's um, scoring there. Check his other scores out as well if you like, they are decent for a goalkeeper. Let's have a look at his cards then there's some on the secondary market but you're probably going to be getting it cheaper on the auction so if we just look at some of the auction prices recently 90 pound there 112 so 90 pound 112 which isn't bad really it's good good price again for goalkeepers which are obviously high in demand so they're around the price of these secondary market ones here so you could even put a bid in for one of these and offer see if they'll accept maybe 100 something like that where for short you've got nothing to lose really and um, putting in a low offer there on these players. So the final player we've got today is Quinton Westberg. He plays for Toronto. Again in the MLS. As you can see, consistent scores here around the mid-range score bracket, which like I say is good for goalkeepers. He's 34, um, but like I said, don't let that worry you. Goalkeepers can have a longer career than other players in other positions there. So there's one on the secondary market, 145, that's probably a bit steep. Let's have a look at some recent auction sales, just to see what price we're looking at. 23 days, £100. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got here. So there's one there for 23, um, sorry, 23 days ago, £101. Let's see if there's any more recent auction sales. 22 days ago, 97, which is good. So again, you're looking around the, there's an 80 pound there 29 days ago. You're probably looking around the 100 pound mark um, again, which is fantastic uh, for goalkeepers. Uh, that is really a good, uh, a good low price there. So that is the final goalkeeper for this week. So that is the five recommended mid to budget price goalkeepers. Saving yourself a lot of money there and you're, you're getting value for money as well because these people, these players are capable of getting the, 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 the decent average scores that goalkeepers are usually expected to get really. Just to top up your scores and obviously fill that goalkeeper position in your SO5 lineups. Okay, I hope you did find this video useful. Get these players on your shortlist. We'll be continuing these video series next week when we'll be looking at the America region defenders. And so please join me for that. Um, like I say, if you've not signed up to Sura yet, there is a link in the description below if you did want to do that as well. Okay, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again next week.